Welcome to the March edition of Bridge to India's monthly update on renewable power tenders. I am Drishti Singh, an analyst at Bridge to India, and I'm going to walk you through this update. March saw a decline in tendering activity with 12 new tenders totaling 4,153 megawatt capacity. Five new tenders totaling 3,985 megawatt were issued in project development mode. RUVNL has cancelled its 1,500 megawatt peak power tender due to poor response from developers. On the rooftop solar side, there were four EPC and six impanelment tenders. Results were announced for only one storage project tender and four EPC subtenders. Bid submission date was extended for 25 tenders. Now, on to the key tenders issued during the month. SECI issued a 2 GW solar tender, its first solar tender since July 2021. Successful bidders must stay within L1 plus 2% tariff limit. Since most discoms are no longer keen to buy standalone solar power, this tender is a bit of a surprise. RUVNL issued its first solar storage hybrid peak power tender. Project components may be located separately. Bidders must quote single tariff for both peak and non-peak hours and successful bidders must stay within L1 plus 2% tariff limit. Projects must be able to supply 50% power during any six of the stipulated morning and evening peak hours. Shortfall in annual CUF will be penalized at 0.5 times PPA tariff, while shortfall above 10% in monthly peak supply will be penalized at 2.5 times PPA tariff. Since January 2023, RUVNL has issued 2.7 gigawatt of peak power tenders and another 1 gigawatt solar tender. GUVNL issued a 500 megawatt wind tender with a 100% green shoe option. Successful bidders must stay within L1 plus 2% tariff. MSCDCL Maharashtra issued a 225 megawatt Kusum A tender with a ceiling tariff of 3.30 per kilowatt hour. Out of 3.1 gigawatt issued capacity under MSCDCL's Kusum A tenders, only 203 megawatt has been allocated so far. Rajasthan's Jodhpur Discom issued a 60 megawatt Kusum C tender, second such tender by the Discom since last month. There was one major EPC tender in this month. Seki issued a 100 megawatt floating solar tender for building a project at Gethal Sur Dam in Ranchi. The company has received a financing of 89 million US dollars from World Bank, a part of which will be used for setting up this project. Moving on to tender auctions. Results were announced for Karnataka's 1000 megawatt, 8000 megawatt hour pumped hydro storage tender, which was issued in February 2022. JSW and Greenco won capacities of 300 megawatt, 2400 megawatt hour, and 700 megawatt, 5600 megawatt hour, respectively, with bids of Rs 14.8 million per megawatt per year. Levelized cost of storage is estimated at Rs 5 per kilowatt hour. Commissioning timeline for the projects is 36 months. NTPC awarded a 1200 megawatt solar BOS subtender to Sterling and Wilson at a contract value of Rs 21 billion. Projects will be located in Khavra Solar Park in Gujarat. Tata Power won NLC's 300 megawatt solar BOS subtender in Rajasthan with a contract value of Rs 17.5 billion. This tender was issued under IREDA PSU Tranche 3 tender. Results were also announced for two SJVN subtenders. A 100 megawatt solar BOS project in Punjab was bagged by Bharat Vikas Group at a contract value of Rs 1.16 billion. SJVN is developing this project under Punjab's 250 MW solar tender issued in 2021. Another 15 MW floating solar tender auction was won by Hartek Solar. SJVN had won this project in an auction by Seki in February 2022. GUVNL has issued an amendment to its Trans 17 solar tender. The original RFS offered the green shoe option to develop projects at L1 tariffs to any Gujarat state PSUs that may or may not have participated in the bid. This clause has now been removed. 
the amendment requires projects under green shoe option to be located at khavra solar park commissioning timeline has been revised from 15 months from ppa signing date to 21 months from ppa signing date or completion date of khavra solar park transmission system whichever is earlier CERC has approved tariff for a 1070 megawatt solar project by Tata Amp and NTPC under Seki Solar Wind Hybrid Tranche 5 tender at rupees 2.60 per kilowatt hour power will be procured by Mundra Port SEZ in Gujarat with this we conclude the March tender update we anticipate tender activity specifically auctions to pick up in the next few months We hope you found this useful. You can view all tender policy and regulatory information on the renewable power sector in real time at India RE Navigator, a one-stop market intelligence portal for the renewable sector. You can also write to us at contact at bridge to India dot com if you have a query or feedback. We would love to hear back from you. We'll be back next month with another update. Thank you and goodbye.